Now to our forecast, Hallie, as we take a live look out over a, a dark, cloudy, gloomy, and very cold Ann Arbor. But the big headline today we know for those who are going to be heading out to some of those outdoor events is the wind. Hallie. Yeah, we have that wind advisory, Jen, until 8 a.m. It's been going all night, and the winds have to uh, really howling out there. And of course, you combine it with any snow showers, snow squalls, and visibility and issue in a couple of spots. This will continue through the morning hours. Still a brisk, gusty wind for the afternoon, just not quite to that level of a advisory. A cold start to the weekend. We know that single digit wind chills, but our temperatures actually turn milder, and you're going to feel the difference as early as tomorrow. Right now, winds 32 mile per hour winds in Pontiac, and that's a sustained wind, so that's pretty high. We're looking at 23 right now downtown, up to 29 in Windsor, and a 20 mile per hour wind in Port Sanilac. And then, of course, we ramp it up with the wind gusts and nearing 40 in Howe, also close to that in Ann Arbor. 46 mile per hour wind gust in Pontiac and 43 Mount Clemens. So these are pretty strong winds this morning. It is 15 degrees in Detroit, 11 for you in Pontiac, 11 degrees in Howell and 14 degrees right now Port Huron. So plenty cold even without the winds. And of course, when you talk about the winds, you factor them in. It feels like 12 below in Pontiac, feels like one below for you in Mount Clemens, six below in Ann Arbor. So below zero wind chills this morning. And it's not going to be much of a climb into the afternoon. You can see our wind chills stay at about five or six degrees even into the afternoon and evening hours. A few snow showers behind the cold front right now, and we are seeing that around the River Raisin, Saline, Myland, on over toward the Flat Rock. And speaking of the River Raisin, unfortunate flooding situation there at Monroe. So current stage is over 11 feet. Flood stage is nine feet. So predicted that to fluctuate and continue to see these flooding conditions conditions into next week, unfortunately. So the National Weather Service has that going really just until further notice. There is the front right now, some wraparound moisture behind it, and we're seeing that in the form of lake effect snow. We're seeing again a few flurries, more numerous on the west side of the state, but all the cold air continues to pour in. But tomorrow we notice these are highs for tomorrow, so we'll be touching near 40 tomorrow, and that cold air will start to retreat a little bit further back to the north, which will be nice. We get a break as we head into Sunday, but not today. It's a brisk wind. Spotty light snow or flurries tomorrow, milder, still breezy tomorrow. And then Monday, milder yet, more clouds and a chance for rain overnight mainly. So it's going to be late Monday into Tuesday. Temperatures look warm enough at this point to support rain showers, but that mix, which could be freezing rain off to the north, heads up if you're traveling and we'll watch for it. It is kind of a fine line between the rain and some of that sleet or freezing rain. But right now, we'll kind of keep it right now as rain with temperatures in the mid 40s on Tuesday and then turning colder by the end of the week.